For news, views, trends in ICT globally and in Africa in particular, watch AIT Infotech Network for the latest news and innovation in ICT for development in Africa. Plus, what technology can do for you from business to politics, tourism and culture. I am Bayero Agabi. You're welcome. As fierce competition continues to sweep across the mobile ecosystem, smartphone makers are strategizing to ensure that they break even and retain their market share. With Samsung currently leading the park, Apple is also on top of its game, with newer versions of the iPad still topping the chart, not forgetting Chinese vendors like Huawei, Lenovo, among others. A new model of the bamboo tablet designed with the emerging market in mind has been launched in Lagos, Nigeria. We're trying to and have developed a feature-rich tablet that has as much features as the Apple iPads or the Samsung Galaxy tabs. In fact, not just as much, it can match their features and even beat their features. And in addition to that, at prices that appeal to middle market of people in emerging markets. So having that combination, special features, fantastic price, we believe that we'll be able to enter into the market and become the third major player. The Bamboo D700 is a tablet tailored towards solving unique problems in emerging markets, including youth unemployment, educational challenges, among others. But most interestingly, the makers say the device is designed with some special applications to help women live better. We've developed special software and special applications specific to those people's needs. Now here's the thing, the Bamboo D700 is meant to solve problems. So we have sat down to itemize the challenges in emerging markets, one of which Nigeria is, and then now develop specific applications to tackle those particular problems. That's one thing that some of the other devices have not done. The device runs on the Android operating system with long-lasting battery life, among others. One of the things that we've done is to ensure that you know we have the last, longest lasting device on a single charge. The bamboo comes with at least 1,048 hours of standby time. Google allows us to leverage off their platform as well as have access to over a million applications. Nigeria remains a critical market for any investor looking towards emerging markets especially for telecoms product. A mobile subscription of over 100 million stands it out as the fastest growing mobile market in the world with a huge population of technology savvy young people. Little wonder why it is the first launch destination for the Bamboo D700 in Africa. Francisca Nana, reporting for AIT Infotech Network. <music> For news, views, trends in ICT globally and in Africa in particular, watch AIT Infotech Network for the latest news and innovation in ICT for development in Africa. Plus, what technology can do for you from business to politics, tourism and culture. I am Bayero Agabi. You're welcome. Nigeria is Africa's second largest economy, on track to becoming one of the 20 largest economies in the world by 2020. But this dream could be marred, going by its inability to diversify its economy, experts say. Though the petroleum sector is important, it remains a small part of the country's overall vibrant economy, with successive government paying little attention to the other sectors, including technology, manufacturing, among others. Government is the biggest buyer in this country. The economic control of government is probably 70%. We should first of all give the lead by example by local. Similar to the, what you are trying to do about local content. Once you do that, and I say we built Abuja, that is the biggest city that has been built in the world in the last 15 years, 20 years after we, after they won in Brazil. And during that period, Almost all our small factories went down. 
all ceramic factories that make white ware for toilets and so on closed down. The pet industry, almost all of them went down. Something's wrong with us. Our government should find ways to make sure that local capacity is being built. Not, if there's not enough capacity, let's import. They should say, why is this capacity not enough? Then let it be enough. And you can make any capacity enough in two months. It was on this note that stakeholders gathered in Ibafu, Ogun State, to appeal to the federal government to formulate and implement stringent policies that will compel patronage of made in Nigeria goods, as this has been one of their major headaches. Many industries, such as bioorganics, are not promoted. We are not even them protected. So we suffer commercial injury. Because foreign companies who do what we do here, whom we know better what to do, are bringing in their products and Nigerian companies and buy from them. Without any commitment to buy from local industries who match quality and price and just in time delivery. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Olusegun Aganga, who listened carefully to their request, said the ministry has developed a strategic industrial revolution plan to fast track Nigeria's economic diversification and promised to further incorporate the plight of local manufacturers into the initiative. You made a lot of uh, important uh, comments uh, and I've addressed, so we talked about them as we went along. But one thing which is obvious that you're not uh, maybe familiar with is the fact that we we have developed what we call that Nigerian Industrial Revolution. And that plan itself um, is very different from whatever we've done in the past. Um, in four main areas, I can, I can say it ways different. It's different because it's very strategic, meaning that we're looking at the sectors, industries where Nigeria has competitive and comparative advantage. Thank you.